The great gift of man over beasts has been his ability to craft and use tools. A simple stone axe gave man the power to shape the world around him. A spear could mean the difference between a family eating or starving. But the axe and the spear could also become weapons as individuals and tribes and eventually nations struggled against each other in their fierce determination to survive. The gun, too, has been both a tool for capturing game and a weapon for killing men. Guns gave individual men the power to hunt larger, more dangerous game and gave groups of men the power both to enforce and resist the will of rulers. The United States of America is a nation born well after the invention of firearms and whose size and influence expanded alongside the development and with the use of firearms. What were the guns that conquered the land that would become the United States and how did they develop? How did firearms change the course of this continent's future? And how were advancements in firearm technology used by men and even other nations throughout the American experience? Join us as we trace the history and development of the gun and the evolution of the firearm. Before there could be guns, there must first be gunpowder. Over a thousand years ago, a Chinese alchemist combined potassium nitrate with sulfur and charcoal with explosive results. It is commonly known that the carefully guarded secret mixture was used for fireworks, but the Chinese were quick to find military applications as well. Early weapons included gunpowder-packed arrows, which would blast off like a rocket to explode into enemy lines. Over the next centuries, they would develop the first cannons and grenades as well. The fire lance appears to be the first handheld firearm. A hollow bamboo tube was filled with gunpowder and some small projectile. The weapon had a range of only a few feet, so it was used in hand-to-hand -hand combat attached to the end of a spear. Gunpowder remained a Chinese secret until the 13th century. It may have made its way to the West as part of the Mongol invasions of Persia and Eastern Europe. A Franciscan monk, Roger Bacon, appears to have witnessed the creation and use of the powder in fireworks. He described the use of saltpeter, sulfur, and charcoal, and wrote around 1250 AD, The sound of thunder may be artificially produced in the air, with greater resulting horror than if it had been produced by natural causes. Cannons were used by Moors in Spain in the mid-13th century, and then later, by the 14th century, the King of England was using cannons against the Scots. During the Hundred Years' War, the English and French both dragged cannons to the battlefield. Perhaps it was inevitable that some brave and industrious person would attempt a smaller, handheld version of this thundering weapon. The original firearm was a hand cannon. Although there is evidence that hand cannons were used in 12th century China, it wasn't until the mid-1300s that they were used in Europe. These ancestors of the modern firearm truly were just hand-sized versions of the cannons used against castle walls. Simple metal tubes, usually made of bronze. On one end, a small touch hole is used to ignite the gunpowder. The other end is open, and from it blasts a deadly projectile and foul-smelling black smoke. It could fire a lead ball, a heavy stone, or even a handful of gravel. As fearsome as it might sound, the weapon was cumbersome. It was best mounted against a solid surface to keep it from blasting back into the chest of the gunner. The gunner must concentrate carefully when lowering a hot coal or burning rope to the touch hole, which meant that the gunner was not concentrating on the actions of his enemy. Accuracy suffered, and there is some debate regarding the effectiveness of these arms of fire as useful weapons in the field. 
firearms development is obviously centered on the initial discovery and development of gunpowder, or as we call it today, black powder. It was developed in the Far East. The Chinese uh, are accredited with the, uh, the first black powder uh, developments. And uh, it wasn't too long before black powder originally used uh, for rockets and uh, for signaling and, and for fireworks, just as they are still currently used today to mark celebrations. Those were the initial uses that the Chinese uh, put gunpowder to when it was first developed. It took a while for it to uh, travel to the West and, uh, and find a home in Europe. And it was through the introduction of gunpowder to the Europeans that firearms first began uh, to, to show themselves on the uh, scene. Uh, we know that as early as 1350, uh, a hand cannon was developed uh, that would fire projectiles with the aid of gunpowder. The, the uh, gunpowder basically is a, uh, uh, a substance that when ignited uh, through a spark or other means uh, explodes or basically, uh, more technically, burns, creating a, a tremendous amount of gases and pressure uh, that's ideal for pushing a projectile down a, uh, a long tube or barrel as they evolved. If you're eager to see more of our historical documentaries, please like, share, and subscribe.